And good Wednesday to you. I'm WRTV Storm Team Meteorologist Todd Claussen. We have returned to more winter-like weather after our spring fling with temperatures in the 50s and 60s. Today, we top off only in the upper 20s to the north, low 30s uh, to uh, the south with skies that will be partly to mostly cloudy, but it is a quiet day of weather for us. That's the good news. But things will change here as we head into tomorrow. Overnight tonight, a light wintry mix comes in, and that could create slick conditions for your Thursday morning commute. Thursday evening's commute is going to be probably very rough as we'll be dealing with snow, sleet and freezing rain and then some lingering effects heading into Friday. So let's lay it all out for you. The first wave of precipitation that comes in overnight tonight and tomorrow is a very, very light. And so it's only a, probably a quick coating of maybe a little bit of ice, a little bit of snow across the area. And then we get a break only for the more significant part of the storm to arrive heading into the afternoon hours on a Thursday. This is 4 p.m. and you can see a mixed back of precipitation. I'm most concerned about the central portion of the state here along I-70 and say 30 to 40 miles on either side of the highway for significant icing because watch what happens as I advance the map into the 830 9 o'clock time frame and not much changes. It's still snow to the north. The wintry mix through the central portion of the state still rain from Bloomington to Greensburg and points to the south and then the storm will wrap up as we head into early Friday morning. So late tonight into tomorrow mainly snow to the north and areas in blue one to three inches with some minor icing. As you look at that area in the pink, it's about maybe an inch of snow and then a tenth to about a quarter inch of ice. And south of Bloomington and Greensburg, again, it's mainly going to be rain. And uh, what does a tenth to a quarter inch of ice mean? It means roads will obviously get very slick. Light icing is uh, probable. So you'll see the ice on, uh, you know, trees, power lines, steps, but it's probably not enough ice to bring tree limbs down or power lines down, which is good news. But obviously slick conditions off and on throughout Thursday into Friday morning. We get to the weekend. It's nice and quiet, but temperatures in the 30s and then back into the 40s for Monday and Tuesday.